y'all. I'm Amy, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Okay, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment is greatly loved and appreciated. Okay, God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light, with the best interests of me and the collective at heart. You are welcome into this reading. Please give the Pisceans here collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. They've been pretty good so far, y'all. <laughs> so let's see what they got for you. What, if, what we got for this one? We got Taurus, okay? So you could be a Taurus, okay? We got the sensual, okay? Then we got Venus at the bottom of the deck with love and beauty, okay? And trine under that with support and inspiration, okay? You could be a trine, okay? You could have um, a couple of trines, like an earth trine, I'm hearing, or a water trine. Um, so maybe there's a need for you to, like, um, feel the beauty and the love and like everything that's going on in life okay but you could be feeling like really inspired lately to do like some amazing wonderful things okay look resources and values okay um really pulling your resources and really looking at what it is you value you know and really care about you know um maybe you could be in like a joyous playful type of energy too or you need to like embrace that kind of energy because that kind of energy is really important to manifesting okay <clears throat> okay Thank you. <laughs> Harmony and resolution, okay? This is what I'm saying. Good, good energy, okay? Like this, you could be coming into like this harmonious type of rhythm with life, you know? Um, like just with the way that you feel, you know, really learning from your experiences and knowing exactly when to take a step back, okay? And really doing a good job of holding your composure and not whooping nobody's ass, okay? So let's, <laughs> let's clap it up for that shit, okay? Um... Forgiveness and understanding, okay, and clear canceling and releasing things is what you're really, really good at right now, okay? Um, they're saying have lots of trust in the universe right now, okay? Trust in your guardian angels, okay, that um, things will definitely work out, okay? You are the king or the queen of cord cutting, babes. <laughs> so I, I feel like clapping it up for that shit too, okay? So we got Maya. They had me looking at eyeballing the book recklessly too before I, <laughs> before I pushed record, but I didn't grab it. Okay, so sacred geometry, okay? You could be really into sacred geometry, okay? You could be making some sort of timeline jump, okay? Going through some sort of portals, okay? You've been doing a lot of good, good energy work with yourself, okay? Um, really, really um, being open to receiving these light codes, okay? Look at this. We got light technology and transmission, okay? And sacred union, okay? So you could be in union or coming into union like a lot of us are, okay? Um, the song is called Risk, okay? Really comfortable with taking risks right now, okay? He said, I never thought it'd be this. Risk, I'm, I never thought it'd be this. I'm jumping out of your arms. I land and fall in a pit. Is this what they call the abyss? I fought and crawled for an inch. Turned into Miracle Mile. I can recall when your lips used to contort into smiles okay so maybe it could be somebody that you used to be with okay that might be coming around to bring some more like harmonious type of energy to your life okay i'm hearing somebody you you may be thinking that you missed a chance with okay somebody who is i don't know why i'm picking up this deck i'm not supposed to be using it but somebody who is like an omnis you know very um open to all sorts of like religious teachings and things like that you know yeah somebody that comes from old money okay or you could come from old money somebody's watching your money and finances right now okay some group <laughs> Oh, don't these bitches have anything better to do? Okay, somebody's a Gemini. My phone ringing. <laughs> Let's see who that is. Who that is? It's a scam, likely. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, you know, somebody trying to, trying to do some scamming shit on you. They can't. 
Okay, what is the card meaning? Let me see, because it says a lot of stuff. Um, it says, from our perspective, purification is to align with your innocent nature that you possessed when you first entered your plane born with an open heart curiosity and vast mind that was open to learn experience and feel okay this divine innocence carried you into deeper states of learning and shaped the foundation for who you are today in the same perspective we experience purification as a return to one's innocence and divine nature with us gently reminding that a return to innocence excuse me a return to innocence facilitates for this deeper richness to enter in your life okay when one is pure they tap naturally into their divine celestial codes that have been embedded in you since you were born of course these are never lost but soon get buried in amnesia from the day-to-day experience of your plane okay we the pleiadians pose this question for you to ponder in this moment have you lost this innocence somewhere along the way has human life hardened you to make you abandon this purity Whatever the case, now is a good time to reclaim um, this true essence by connecting with activities and mindsets that you once engaged with as a child, okay? I've seen a spider, okay, in these lines on my table, so I'm going to look up a spider for you, okay? Um, It says... Maybe you need to walk barefoot on earth. Maybe you need to play in the dirt. Maybe you need to review your childhood in greater depth. Whatever it may be, know that purification leads to a place of rapid receptivity, which facilitates for the star codes to be downloaded. Stay in your divine, innocent nature and see life as new, okay? And all will unfold with grace, okay? So maybe there's even a need for you to do some detoxing, okay? I always have like really great dreams when I'm detoxing um um and maybe an inner child meditation okay it says reclaiming sovereignty blessed opportunity okay so it's like every opportunity that's coming to you is a blessed thing okay spirits bringing um lots of change into your life okay um your self-esteem could be (laughs) in an amazing amazing shape okay we got power okay you're really standing in your power right now not letting your pride get in the way okay um you're really open and receptive to knowledge and um going with the flow with this fluidity okay you're really in touch with your emotions okay and feeling very passionate about the future that's what i'm talking about okay you could even be feeling like very sexy right now okay like you just know you the shit and it's like nobody that can argue with that okay but i did say your self is your self-esteem is in a really great place okay yeah so we got passion and sexuality okay so you ain't afraid (laughs) you're not afraid to express your sexiness and i love that okay because i don't know like I don't know, like, some people just feel like I should be less sexy. They can suck my dick. (laughs) I'm going to be sexy forever. Excuse my my French. (laughs) So, um... At the bottom of the deck, we got self-esteem, okay? And vision. And connectivity, okay? So, spirit and guidance under that, okay? And spirituality and transition, okay? So, like I said, spirit's bringing big changes to you right now, okay? Helping you to transition into, like, a smoother way of being, you know? You could, like I said, be feeling very harmonious, you know? Um, Taurus is an earth sign, you know? Very grounded, okay? Um, Also, Taurus... Taurans, I should say, Taurus people, okay, they tend to be very imaginative, you know, they know where they want to go in the future, they know the things that they would like to have, and you know, a Taurus in their shadow, they don't always go after what they want to have, okay, but I feel like you've really learned your karmic lessons, okay, it says, um, the themes and situations that we did not learn from in the past, repeated lessons with the same or different people until we learned them, you know, I feel like spirit, like, had to knock you over the head with 
you know, a specific lesson quite a few times before you learn that the song is called by Felicia that's playing by Felicia. So it could have been like <laughs> spirit. It could have been like, uh, um, like a, a relationship or something like that. Okay. You could be someone who is into divination, obviously, or you wouldn't be looking at me, but I mean into doing your own divination. Okay. It says using the gift of intuition and foresight to predict future events or uncover hidden knowledge may be used for good or bad. Okay. So somebody, I did say somebody, it was a group dipping in your business though, watching your money. They trying to see like when you going to hit it, <laughs> when you going to hit it so they can start being nice and shit. It's none of a business, okay? The past, look, and illusions. Jeez Louise. So the past is back to haunt and test you again, okay? Someone or something from the past has returned for another chance. Proceed with caution, you know. Spirit's saying, you know, it's okay to heal them out or entertain them sometimes, you know. But don't be, don't make them have to slap you upside your head with the same lesson again, you know. If I was you, I would just steer clear of it because you already know what it is, okay? You know when people have done some spiritual work or not, you know. It's just an illusion that they're trying to come around and present you know it says mind manipulation to make an unsuspecting target see things that are not really there warping a person's sense of reality okay and it's like we got the lawn noise all in the back you know it's like a distraction they're here to be a distraction to you okay it says mind shatter the splitting of the mind through traumatic events split personality disorder creating alters and triggers to activate the alternate personas okay so this could be someone you know who um does that you know someone who has alters okay because they've been through so many traumatic situations and they're not healing from it okay they're getting karma <laughs> karma this card <laughs> that's what it makes me want to do okay it says those who have casted spells or plotted against the innocent in any way will receive a flaming hot dose of their own fucking medicine okay that's what they're gonna get <sighs> clap it up for that shit <laughs> that's what i heard <laughs> let's clap it up <laughs> spirit say clap it up for that shit okay look <laughs> grave okay sending out death wishes towards another person using rage and anger to channel dark energies to silence another person low level magic okay so somebody been going to the graveyard sending that low level magic again <laughs> like no bitch okay crime okay the damn criminals <laughs> it says communion let me see committing unwarranted acts of violence in the physical and spiritual towards others okay using extreme measures to fulfill an agenda but they're not gonna be able to fulfill that shit okay they're doing crime against themselves okay because you are liberated baby okay liberation <laughs> i don't know what happened okay i just got real silly with this one okay you can be kind of silly she say when i wake up hold up let me go back because these lyrics, ooh, she spit the bars on this shit. What is this song? This song is called Forever by Sa Rock, S-A, like, you know, little hyphen rock, okay? She say, when I wake up, no makeup, half naked, I feel like I'm the shit. Pardon my language, but hangups do not define the kid. No, I'm not flawless. Hold up. I'm scarred up and I'm fine with it. I think that's what she says. No, I'm not flawless. I'm scarred up and I'm fine with it. My body, my body are a laundry list of all of life's unkindnesses. But I still sip tea and chant um and live free. Cause hardships and heartbreaks turn to rap epiphanies. And mom told me stay woke cause all gold ain't glistening. Choose your words wisely cause the all knowing is listening. But no worries, I'm Gucci. My thighs are a little juicy. My dialogue a little awkward. My idols still move me. My life is a movie like Raheem. I mean, my bad, like Raheem and Mookie. I'm just trying to do. I'm just trying to do the right thing. 
I'm just trying to do the right thing. Hope that it improves me. My bamboos are costumes. Sue me, okay? I love me some costume jewelry, okay? Look, you'll be soon accustomed to me. This, the moral, I got royal hemoglobin. I got royal hemoglobin coursing through me, okay? The song is bars, man. And my strength is now inhuman. I get that straight from my umi. Signed and sealed from out the grill of yours and truly. You better shine on them, baby. You're a star. You better. Hey. Baby, you're a star. You better. Be exactly who you are forever. Because they're going to try to change your heart. Don't let them. Because you're so damn fine just the way you are. Huh? So it says freedom from any negative energy, spell work, curses, or any opposing forces being released from bondage, a dissipation of illusions, okay? She said, I ain't get here overnight. I was in that mirror like four or five times a week with my mala beads reciting affirmation like, like holy rites, okay? <laughs> For real though. And I still don't know everything, okay? But I guess confessions from eight by 11s in studio sessions seem like it's only right. And trust me, this is my therapy or something like that. She say finna, finna murk all these Murphy types, funny style in me, shut your mouth, touch me. I'm slaughtering crews, squads, goons, teams. The queen is coming to rule your region, okay? So, look, femme fatale. <laughs> it says, highlights the erotic energy of feminine, opens your heart. My goodness, they want me to tell you these lyrics, but go listen to the song, okay? Go listen to Forever by Sa Rock. It's S-A hyphen R-O-C, okay? Slapper. It says, highlights the erotic energy of feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected, okay? So it's like, you're super dependable to people, okay? Look, Child Divine. Mm, we got Child Divine, Father, talent for creating and supporting positive, guiding light within a tribal unit, okay? So you're bringing, like, so much light to your family, okay? <laughs> and it says... Um, priest okay Facil facilitates <laughs> spiritual commitments serves as a channel of spiritual energy okay so you are definitely someone who is a channel if you're looking that looking at this okay you know you are um a forever student okay humility and devotion to knowledge openness and lifelong learning like you're not someone who's like you know i know it all you can't tell me nothing you can't tell me better type shit you are very open Open to learning new things like I said you don't let your pride get in the way of anyone bringing you knowledge and you're really going with the flow okay you're doing so good okay you are a visionary baby I guess we just came to toot your horn we just came to toot your horn that's it it says um you have the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others, okay? The willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain, okay? It's like you know where you want to go, you know what I mean? And it's like whatever blessings that are supposed to come to you along the way, you know they're going to come. You know, you don't do things for no money or for no clout or for no bullshit, okay? <laughs> you just here to do your mission and you know that, okay? You don't... It says gambler, okay, willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you, okay, boom. Okay, let's put that down. Child eternal, come on, look, child magical, okay, and meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> these vampires want to destroy your shit. <laughs> Laugh it up because they can't do shit, okay, look, it says, um... Depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining, and codependency. That's what them, them little fucking baby vamps are on, okay? <laughs> it says, um, this one. 
the destroyer, it says intoxication with destructive power, destroying others dreams or potential. You know, that's what they wish they could do, but they can't. I mean, they might have been able to do that to a couple of people before you, but you a pioneer, baby. And whatever it is that you do, what? Ain't no taking you down. Look at these fucking bullies. <laughs> Look, this shit say pioneer, dilettante, detective and bully. OK. And it says hermit, okay, you could have been in hermit mode recently, okay. Um, they have a compulsive need to keep... <sighs> These people, like, okay, so you have a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before, you know. And people have a compulsive need to keep moving on, you know. People, <laughs> some people just feel like, you know, they keep need to doing new and new and new and better and better and better. It's like, <laughs> no, babe, just relax, you know. And when you're supposed to get better, when that shit supposed to rise up and when it's time to move on to the next thing, you know, you will, okay. So you have, like, a really great patience about you, okay. You delight in the arts without having to be a professional okay um alerts you this says alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits okay always keep that deeper meaning and that deeper thing that you want to do you know because people was out here uh with this voyeurism falsifying information okay concealing their deep fears behind their verbal and physical abuse with their punk asses okay excuse me <laughs> that's confirmation <laughs> Okay, look, spirit, what else? <laughs> yeah, look, angel of love, okay, man holding a heart, like, you're so loving, you're so, so loving, okay, um, and whatever you do as a profession, okay, I think that's why man holding a heart came out, like, first of all, you're an earth angel, okay, you're here to just spread so much wonderful and amazing love, you know, but it's like, yours whatever you do for your job okay you love to do that shit okay and that's why no one will ever be able to stop you from doing that you know because it is the sun for you it is meant to bring you the sun okay look at archangel shamiel with the third chakra or the solar plexus chakra you know spirit sends you a lot of energy to make sure you're confident in whatever it is that you are doing because people would love nothing more than to send you these illusions you know that you're doing a terrible thing you know and that your mind is shattered you're crazy stop that shit stop doing that crazy shit but no it's like hold up i see an attachment you know you don't have an attachment to you know like the physical things that people do you know you're not attached to like i said money or clout or none of that shit you know what i mean you ain't wearing no mask you been took that mask off like what and that's why you know the door to value is always open to you you attract what you need you know and it's like people in the community look <laughs> look you are you 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 as a man or a woman holding a heart you know what i'm saying the people in the community seeing you as the person that's holding the coin okay because like that's your strategy to get in this money, okay? By being as loving and honest and open as, you know, you're supposed to be, okay? You always gonna get this money. Let me see. What else? Yeah, we got the nine of swords in reverse, okay? Because <laughs> you is not stressing over these bitches that can't walk away. <laughs> the bitches can't move on, okay? They cannot move on from you. Look at the ace of wands at the bottom of deck, okay? And the emperor and the six of pentacles, okay? Look, and the strength card, okay? Like, they cannot touch you. They can't touch you. You're so royal and amazing and wonderful and divine, okay? And you're emotionally intelligent. You're mothering. You're loving. This is what, what, what I keep saying, okay? <laughs> you're, like, the best, okay? Look, it, and that's why anything that you wish for gets fulfilled with the nine of cups, okay? And it's always going to be a happy, wonderful, amazing type of energy that comes to you, okay? because you're great okay so these all of these illusions okay that you you get right through them okay with the quickness okay because you are imbalanced okay because you are in touch with your inner child okay you showing up as the high priestess as the queen of wands okay and these fucking pages of pentacles like that's all they like, first of all, good news of money is coming to you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from the Page of Pentacles. But also, it's like, these people, like, 
like they hold on to the money you know what i'm saying they hold on to the physical possessions because they feel like that's what gives them status and that's what makes them important and that's what makes them matter baby but no okay you know that that this where the money really come from okay the money really get transmitted down from god from spirit into your head okay from your ancestors and angels okay that shit does not just <laughs> Like what? I'm always rich, okay? I don't give a fuck what it look like I got, okay? Look, I'm the ace of pentacles out here. <laughs> That's how you showing up. And it's like anybody that tries to come and stab you, there's all they're always going to miss, you see? Ain't none of these swords actually in the cat, okay? Well, a few, okay? There's three swords in the cat. But for the most part, it's like that shit is nothing, okay? The cat's still standing on all fours, okay? Bundling up bundling up these burdens, okay? About to burn them. <laughs> like, hey, what? I got all the cups, bitch. Look, I don't even want that one. Let me just knock that one over, okay? <laughs> Let me see. What is this? Um, the five of pentacles, you know, this is the kind of energy that they're in, okay? People feeling like they out in the cold now all of a sudden, you know, because you are like celebrating okay we got the eight of wands and the three of cups and the three of wands at the bottom of the deck you know it's like you got shit going for you that you're not even seeing look at the lovers hiding right under here under the moon okay and the magician under the moon okay and the king of swords ah, and the ace of cups come on look and the king of wands okay it's a divine partnership here somewhere <laughs> like Y'all gonna get together and get hella strong, you know? There's gonna be some sort of good tower, okay, that's gonna lead to this four of wands type of energy. So just keep on hanging in there, okay? The sun is coming. Look at the sun with the nine of pentacles. It's the sun, the nine of pentacles, the five of cups, and the star, okay? Wow, this, the story these pictures is telling, okay? Look. <laughs> We got the sun, right? The nine of pentacles. Bitch is mad. Like, oh, damn it. She got, oh, she's happy again. Oh, look, she's a star. I'm so mad. She about to get this new beginning in all of these bomb ass pentacles and happy family. Like, why she keeps standing her ground? Why don't she just sit down and let us attack her? <laughs> I'm done, okay? I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, okay? You're untouchable and bitches getting karma and they mad. Okay, the songs that I see you on the street, like call me sometime. They really want to talk to you, okay? They're your fans. I hope you have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, amazing day, and I will see you later, okay? <sighs>